What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about something really serious. Something very dramatic. Something almost as dramatic as that video you guys just saw of me changing my guitar strings in my pajamas. Today I want to talk to you guys about setting the action on your guitar. What is action you say? Action is how high the strings are off of the fretboard. Some people like action that's really high. Some people like action that's really low. I personally like my action to be very low. When I received the solar guitar right out of the box, it wasn't like unplayable, but the, the, it was, the action was a lot higher than I wanted it to be. Now, if you guys saw in my last video, I did a review of this guitar. If you guys haven't seen it, I recommend you guys go check it out. I'll link it in the description. Um, I did that entire review without setting the action because I knew that I was gonna have to mess with the terrifying old truss rod in order to set the action and I was afraid that if I screwed it up, I would have to send it to a guitar tech to have it fixed and then I wouldn't get it back for a while and then I wouldn't be able to put out my review. Uh, I decided not to set up the action, I decided just to leave it as it was and then just play the guitar. So I did that and while it was a pain in the ass to play it that way because I'm not used to the action being that high so my fingers were like, dude, what the fuck? Now I realize that a lot of these guitars are probably getting shipped out the same way because they're all coming from the same factory so I'd imagine that the setup is all probably coming the same. Uh, so if that's the case then a lot of you are probably getting these guitars out of the box with action that you may not like. So how did I fix the action on this guitar? First I took my Evertune tuning key, I dropped the string height, the individual string height on each string, I dropped it down. Uh, to where I felt it was the most comfortable, to where I felt that it was as low as, as I'm used to playing. And from there, obviously, I had tons of dead notes and it was ringing out and it sounded like crap. So then I came up here uh, to the truss rod, I removed the truss rod cover, and I believe that clockwise gives you a straight neck and counterclockwise will give you a bend in the neck. So when it's set up like that, when it has the valley, that's how you have that high action. Guitar strings are like, 10 miles off the fretboard. And that's what I wanted to change. All I did was drop down my strings to where I felt comfortable and then I just moved the truss rod in slow increments towards the direction of straightening out the neck until it felt comfortable playing. Now what you're gonna do is turn it, you're gonna pick up the guitar, and you're gonna check it, right? Then you're gonna put it back, and if it's not to your satisfaction, you're gonna do slow increments again. And then you're gonna pull the guitar down, and then you're gonna check it, right? And then you're gonna do that as many times as it takes until you find that perfect spot. Because the last thing you guys wanna do is turn that truss rod and then flatten it out all the way and then find that you don't like it and then dip it back down again going counterclockwise and then eventually you're probably just gonna strip out the nut that's inside of the truss rod. So we definitely don't wanna do that. So just do it in slow increments until you find that sweet spot. And then I went through and just check all the strings individually, one by one. I'm not gonna do it now because that, that's the part that took forever. That's it. It sounds better, it plays better. Um, so yeah, this is what it sounds like. Oh. Making videos is a lot of work. I just, the bending is so much easier um, just all across the fretboard. Just a quick note, um, I think that if you're a legato player like me, you almost depend on having low action because you've, I've gotten so used to just kind of needing that low action so that my hammer-ons and pull-offs are just more effective. <laughs>
that this sounds like complete shit. Um, I just have a vlogging mic. I do have a shotgun mic on the way with a boom stand so that the audio will sound much, much better. So yeah, that's it, pretty much. I just wanted to put this out there for you guys and see if maybe this helps anybody who's getting one of these guitars that has this Evertune bridge and maybe you might be afraid of setting it up. If somebody like me can do this, you can do this. Like I said, I don't work on guitars. I have no clue what I'm doing. I, I was pretty sure I was actually gonna mess this up. By the way, quick, uh, quick guitar hack. If you guys are looking for something to put your guitar on, um, I just took like a, I took a towel from my house and I folded it up and then I put a box underneath it so that it raised the neck up. Um, and it actually works out really perfect. So if you guys found this video at all helpful, uh, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you guys see any future videos that I put out. And uh, yeah, take care.